It was 20 years ago, and I remember very clearly my realtor friend having hope. What was this hope, you ask? Well, it was the hope that the then up-and-coming generation of youngsters were showing signs of conservatism. That based on some study or another, or perhaps a poll he read, these young men and women would turn back and undo all the leftist poppycock our generation enacted in our young adulthood. It was only due to Newt Gingrich that we defeated Hillary Care. Look it up. It was a thing. And thankfully, right around the corner was this generation chock full of Reaganauts, ready to bring us back to the glorious 40s and 50s. That generation he spoke of, was the millennials. Fast forward 20 years to today, and a similar conversation is being held amongst hopeful and naive conservatives. Why did you hear? This Generation Z is the most conservative generation since the World War II generation. They don't have tattoos. They don't even like abortion. They don't even like sex by gum. We're going to see those glorious Eisenhower, leave it to beaver, nuclear family days again. And look, here, here's a study, a study. See that? It says Generation Z is conservative, so it must be true. And so it seems high time for the old captain to dust off the bat of reality and start beating people over the head with it. First, realize it was just one study. And we all know just how reliable studies are, be it the fact that two-thirds of psychological studies were not able to be repeated, or the more recent exposure that even scientific studies can't be repeated, One study does not mean every conservative should pin their hopes on a generation of children over-optimistically, just as they have Donald Trump. It's just one study. It doesn't mean anything. And as it just so happens, it's a study done on Generation Z while they're still kids. This leads to the second point why Generation Z will not save you. They're kids. I'm sure there was a seed of truth to my buddy's claim 20 years ago that the millennials were the most conservative generation since Hoover. I'm sure there was a study, a poll, or something, but it was done when the millennials were children, and academia in the school system is nowhere near done brainwashing your kids by then. Matter of fact, the educational left saves their most potent indoctrination and brainwashing for college, and while little Susie is sent off to college as a good, studious, conservative, even church-going girl, by the time her first summer break rolls around, she's a pansexual, white apologist, liberal arts major, who's been on three slut walks, two pussy hat protests, who hates you because you didn't tell her about the wonders of Karl Marx like her professors did. So just because they're conservative now, don't think you did a decent enough job parenting them to inoculate them against the addictive temptation of other people's money. Socialism. Related is parenting. Terribly sorry, but the quality and caliber of parents who are raising Generation Z are no better than the laughable bunch that raised the millennials. Younger baby boomers are the ones demographic squarely blames for this atrociously parasitic and worthless generation. But as bad as a baby boomer parent millennial child combination is, who do you think is raising Generation Z? Ward Cleaver? John Wayne? Heathcliff Huxtable? It's Generation X. The generation that's so stupid that even though they suffered mightily at the altar of divorce, They learned nothing from the experience and have the exact same performance, perhaps even worse than their baby boomer parents. They're the generation that swallowed the whole going green, organic, OWS, save the whales, fat acceptance, participation trophy, BS, that the millennials have now taken to a whole new level, making it their virtue signaling as a religion. If the baby boomers beget the nookie sucking as an adult, Winona Ryder worshipping Generation X, Just what pathetically hopeless filth do you expect Generation X to beget? Well, we will find out with Generation Z, but something tells me they're not going to be landing anybody on Mars anytime soon. Fourth, we don't have to wait to see if the first Generation Z or to graduate from MIT actually gets us to Mars. You can see it empirically just watching them. Just like the millennials, nobody in Generation Z works. They're all glued to their phones and video games. And they're declaring majors in the exact same worthless liberal arts BS that their slightly older millennial brothers and sisters just majored in. In other words, there is no clear delineation between millennials and Gen Zers. Not only because of demographics, but because their behaviors haven't changed. The boys are wimps, the girls are masculine, they're more doped up on Ritalin and lithium than even the millennials. Yet somehow you guys think this generation, made from the exact same ingredients, is going to turn out any different than the millennials? You'll be lucky if they don't turn out worse. And finally, racial composition. The younger you go, the higher the percentage of the population that is a minority. And minorities, no matter what age, tend to vote for more socialism than less. However, don't think this is largely a minority affair. 
white millennials have shown to be perfectly susceptible to brainwashing and indoctrination. To such an extent, they are trained to hate themselves and feel guilty for things they haven't done. But be it minorities that are sociologically predispositioned to vote left, or white kids who are sociologically predispositioned to self-hatred, both are not the independent megaminds they all claim to be. Just like Generation X, just like the millennials, they are nothing but sheep. They will swallow whole the leftist brainwashing just like their predecessors. And you just have to tip your hat to the educational left for convincing them their independent-minded students to boot. That truly is a masterstroke, what you socialists have done there. Regardless, the success of the left to get kids to view everything in terms of race and to get white kids to feel guilty for things they've never done is not only proof to the incredible job the left has done brainwashing these kids, but just what utterly obedient, conformist sheep these kids are. You add all this up, and I don't care what one poll says, and I don't care that Donald Trump is in office. The Democrats and the left in this country have laid the seeds for the destruction of the U.S. long ago through its children via the education system. And the Republicans are still too busy dislodging one another's head from each other's asses to realize they must do the same, or at least depoliticize schools to let the U.S. even have a shot at surviving. Gen Z will prove to be another wasted crop, just like the millennials and just like the Gen Xers. And having such futile hope in now 14-year-old kids to magically have the wisdom of Milton Friedman or Thomas Sowell is laughable. Enjoy the decline, kids. Enjoy that freaking decline.